Hey there friends, how's it going? My name is Kevin and today's video is sponsored by Paradox Interactive. We're going to be taking a look at City Skylines Campus, the new DLC. That's right, if you watched my Draw My Life, you'll know that I quit school at an early age and uh, it's time to get revenge. <laughs> they put me in charge. I'm sure there will be no issue whatsoever. I'm not a psychopath. I'll take care of the kids. <laughs> okay, this is what we're working with. I wanted islands because I, I'm thinking that I can have the school on one island and restrict it so only some people can use it. I'm very picky who I let into school. <laughs> okay, we got our basic structure there. And you know what people always say to me? They always say, Kevin, you're very creative with your bridges. And I always reply, yes. It's a space-saving uh, technique, okay? It's common <laughs> in advanced cities. I just have a one-way street here going into oncoming traffic. <laughs> That's a two-way street, and then this is a one-way section for no reason. I just want this to only be an exit, so you can come in this way, but you can only come out that way, and we'll get to that in a second. There we go. Same on the opposite side. Perfect. The sewage and the water mains just go through the same pipes. It doesn't matter. They're a two-way system, too. <laughs> Wait, I have a better idea here. Okay, we'll get rid of this uh, road. It was ridiculous anyway. It would never work. Okay, so we'll have a one-way exit here. That can remain. One-way bridge over to here. A one-way bridge across here. <laughs> this is normal city planning. This is how my town looks. <laughs> and a one-way bridge to there. Perfect. All right, and this is medical land. This is like Disneyland, except, you know, it lets you not die. This will be education land. Wait, how is he there? I haven't built police land yet. What are you doing? Don't listen to him. Don't pull over. Oh, wait, no, that's an ambulance. Okay, still don't pull over. I'm sure it's not urgent. Oh, God, I'm trying not to trap myself with these water mains. I feel like I'm playing snake or something. There we go. That's organized. <laughs> oh, worthy village. Great. A population of 650. I think we're expanding a bit too fast. Like, this is... A a village look at this i dug up a barrel full of glowing goo who should i call definitely not me anyway i'm not gonna answer that ah uh, yes firefighter land one of my favorites actually i love that ride and police land now you can go around with your sirens on and finally we're on to the schooling zone so we're gonna put down uh, the institute of creative arts over here community school we got a high school everything is grand over here Oh my god, why are you all so unhappy? What's wrong with you? You're all sick, get over it. Just go to hospital world while you still can. It's free at the moment. The music is feckin' grim, too. <laughs> okay, congratulations. I'm a boom town now. <laughs> I'm not even sure what that means. <laughs> I think that's like a festival or something. But that's perfect, because that means we've unlocked tolls. <laughs> One-way toll. Oh my god, where are all the feckin' ambulances going? They're all going to school world. What happened over there? <laughs> I like how I made this feckin' town into a theme park somehow. <laughs> okay, there's another toll. And then we gotta get the final toll up here. Okay, now that everyone's, like, moved into this area, we'll start adding prices onto those tolls. <laughs> so we'll see the ticket price about there for that one. That's to get to like all the emergency services. <laughs> then you got to pay more if you want to get into this area. So we'll put it up about there. And then to get out of the school area, you got to pay the maximum fee. It's like a metaphor for student loans. <laughs> In fact, let's call that a student loan road. <laughs> Perfect. That probably hits a bit too close to home for some of you. <laughs> and I don't want them like peeking over with binoculars or anything and learning when I'm not authorizing it and they're not paying the tolls. So I'm just going to make a bit of a wall here. Imagine living over there with all the landfills and coal mines and everything and being like, are they building a mound to keep us out? Like the amount of money that must be costing. Why don't they just feed us with that money? A year uh, would find food would be a short-term solution. <laughs> it's best we are, uh, keep our distance. <laughs> Vote Kevin. Because humans get hungry. <laughs> Walls <laughs> are permanent. I mean, the mayor does have a point. Like, they will just get hungry again. Walls don't get hungry. Oh no, there's a fire. <laughs> How did that happen? <laughs> don't worry, I'll keep building this mountain so that, you know... Oh wait, maybe I can raise him up, can I? I was hoping I could raise him up into the wind so that, uh, you know, we could extinguish it, but I guess not. There we go. We built the wall. <laughs> now that is a feckin' wall. Oh, that is a mountain range. Look at it compared to the buildings. Oh my god, even the posh side of town is dying. What can I do for 
you, my lovelies. <laughs> You're sick. I will buy you hospitals. Don't you worry. <laughs> you can have as many hospitals as you want. Every island has some level of emergency response, except for the first one, which has nothing, and they have to go all the way around to get to them too. <laughs> oh god, everyone's dying. <laughs> Community school. A dead person is waiting for transport. Oh no. <laughs> There's a lot of skull and crossbones. One of them has been in the park for feckin' ages. Look at all the ambulances. They've just gotta go so feckin' far to get to that first island where most of the people are dying. The Forest Service has stated that there is a risk of an imminent forest fire in the area. That's not even a forest, that's just a single tree. Okay, now that's that's more of a problem. <laughs> Leave campsites and tree houses. I should probably listen to that. I imagine this mayor would be living out of a tree house. I can build some other trees to try and block the wind so that the fire doesn't get spread. And plus, out of sight, out of mind. Hmm. Did not work as intended. Don't worry, I know what we need. We need a cemetery. <laughs> there we go, now we're sorted. Everybody calm down. Everyone just got happy all of a sudden. They're like, yay, now there's no problem. Even though if they looked behind them, they might see that there's a little bit of a problem. Okay, what if I just dig a hole and then all the fire will just be in a little fire pit? People buy fire pits. I might be able to sell this to another city. God bless the landscapers who are going in and doing this. <laughs> Forest fire is raging. Yep. I'm aware, don't worry, I've got it under control. Still burying the thing. I'm starting to think that saying only you can prevent forest fires may not be true because I don't feel like I'm able to prevent this at all. And if I'm the only one who can, then I'm very worried. <laughs> I could make a sinkhole strike and then hopefully that'll suck up the rest of the fire. But you know what? It does seem a little big. It seems like it might be a bit overkill. Let's just see how my plan works here. I think it's burning out. I think the fire pit was a good idea. I'm just really smart. That's why I'm in charge of edumacation. Okay, I may have to um, admit that my sewage is it's flowing into the water and it's probably making a lot of people die, but not to worry, I have a solution. What I've done, I've built more cemeteries along here. It's a one-way road that goes out this direction, but I figure once you go down there, you're probably not coming back anyway. Aha, I'm a big town. Okay, great. Now I can get the feckin' university. Awesome. And modern technology institute. Okay, who will we have to rehome for this? <laughs> Sorry, there's plenty of room in poor land. <laughs> okay, great. Now that we've got a bit of a start here, <laughs> I can... <laughs> The place is falling apart. I'm gonna buy this island. Well, I've bought this island and I'm gonna start expanding using the new campus features. Okay, so we got a campus area. This entire thing, the whole island is campus island. <laughs> it's a new addition to our theme park. <laughs> Except for that one hole, apparently. <laughs> this this area is not. <laughs> I don't know why, some sacred holy land or something. <laughs> now, some would say having only the one road from the main city over into the campus district is a bad idea. and. Some some are allowed to be wrong, you know? It's fine this way. I'm the mayor here. I've got us this far. This isn't really uh, in my favor saying that. I can see so many skulls and crossbones. But look everyone, an aquarium. Look at the pretty fish. <laughs> Trying to distract them from all the death. I love libraries. Finally I have unrestricted access. <laughs> that really depends on where you live. Sure, the library is free, but all the tolls you have to go through to get here. Okay, let's get started on our university. So we got the admin center. This is gonna be the the brains of the operation. <laughs> this is where I sit drooling all day trying to plan out the college. <laughs> I'm gonna put down a park even though the last park I put down uh, <laughs> kind of went up in flames and then I buried it. <laughs> no one in the city is allowed to talk about that anymore. <laughs> Those people across the river must be going nuts. It's like why are you spending all this money on a university when we have to drink our own sewage? <laughs> well Timmy, if I fixed your <laughs> water you might live but if I fix your edumacation, then you can learn to live yourself. <laughs> They're just like, sir, that makes no sense. Well, how about I build you a track and field so you can run from your problems? <laughs> I outrun all my problems, that's why I love running. There's only one problem I could never outrun and that was cars. Look at that from Noxious. It's a beacon of hope for all the poor people across the water. <laughs> Jesus Christ, there's so much stuff here. I don't think I even have an old police academy. They make good movies. <laughs> Let's put them down. <laughs> crime is like surprisingly not a struggle here. I don't know how because I think I'd commit crime just for the hell of it if my mayor was neglecting me like this. <laughs> I'd certainly commit crimes against him. <laughs> God, there's so many buildings though. <laughs> a baseball pack <laughs> just rubbing it in even further. These poor people. Emphasis on poor. 
I would be pissed. Like, a revolution is coming, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> I may have to strike preemptively <laughs> before they come and get me. <laughs> but first, I need a landfill for all the junk this place is generating. Incineration plant, where, where's, oh, this, this is my landfill zone. <laughs> I want to knock some houses. I'm doing you a favor, trust me. You don't want to live here anymore. It's only going to get worse. We are, however, going to expand out your area. Not so that you can expand or anything. I just want more landfills and also cemeteries are needed. <laughs> Badly. There we go. Cemeteries next to the landfills. <laughs> if one's overflowing, just put them in the other one. <laughs> oh, I am a genius. And just to cheer you up, I'll put in a yoga garden across the way. Look how happy they are. Who needs food when you got yoga? And we'll put in a sauna next to a crematorium. Just again, make sure you're going to the right one. Right, we got to change up our team a bit. I don't like this. Um, We'll say Pickens Public School. Oh, yeah, that's fine too. I feel like this is Kevin's career or something because it's like free to go to the matches and I'm sinking so much money into it just for prestige even though half my people are starving. We've only played one game and we've lost it though. <laughs> we gotta get better. Okay, we're gonna be uh, Spartans. There we go. Team color can be hot pink. The cheerleading budget is more than I'm giving the people across the way. <laughs> Spend more money on cheerleading than supporting and feeding my people. I'm definitely Kevin's Korea. Okay, we are renaming to Kevin's Korea. <laughs> Kevin's Korea is that that's fine too. You know, there's a few islands. I care for them slightly differently, but they'll never find out which is the favorite child. <laughs> I'm accidentally bulldozing a lot of people's homes who have not abandoned this area. <laughs> God knows why. <laughs> who is in charge of picking up all these dead bodies? Because they're not doing a very good job. Uh, could we get like the garbage men to just double down? Like the crematoriums? The landfills and the graveyards are all right next to each other. They could just multitask. <laughs> Imagine that. You have, like, your waste, your recycles, your glass, and then the body bin. <laughs> where you just throw the bodies in and they take them away too. Ah, oh, now that is a utopian future. I feel like this is actually turning into Korea. <laughs> uh, the north one, just to be specific in case you didn't already get it. <laughs> I'm just, like, allowing boats to come in to the nice built-up area I have now, and they just don't get to go over to here at all. <laughs> That's not allowed. School of Law. Oh, probably a bad idea, actually. I don't want them getting too smart in that regard. They'll find out what I'm doing is kind of, uh, <coughs> dodgy. <laughs> For the most part, <laughs> this kind of sums up this entire town. <laughs> just multiple problems! <laughs> Exclamation. Mark. Oh my god, look at that traffic. No wonder they're not collecting the dead bodies. The traffic flow is so poor, and I'm not doing anything to increase it. Jesus Christ. Look at that. It's kind of beautiful, isn't it? It kind of lights up the city. You know, I can make this look better to tourists. I can make our team's colors blue and red. <laughs> Now it just looks like the citizens are cheering them on. I'm gonna give out a grant. Do something good. Make us look good to the outside world that aren't allowed in. Academic year report. Okay, let's go. Pickens pubic school <laughs> last year academic works great we got one we won a sports trophy at swimming amazing <laughs> please don't go swimming in that water though the sewage goes right in there wait pathfinding how to find the way i'm sure people on vr chat could tell you <laughs> a lot of them seem to know and they seem eager to show you i need like a statue in my honor for all the good i've done for these people like i'm teaching them stuff Build me a Stonehenge. I guess it's not as impressive with modern day technology. I've just told someone from the city to go out and put some rocks up. Without the mystery, it's not as cool. Yeah, you know what? Scrap it. I get to carry the rocks all the way out and I'm like, I don't want it anymore. Oh yes, this cathedral will do me. This will make me feel better about myself. Just been feeling a bit unappreciated recently, you know? There we go. Now I feel good. For about five minutes, this will do me. Okay, how's our team doing? A dead person is waiting for transport. That doesn't matter, as long as they're not on the team. <sighs> They've lost one. How? I think the problem is genetics, isn't it? Because uh, we have a history of a weak population. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, there's a bit of a backup with traffic. <laughs> no wonder the dead bodies and the sick aren't getting collected. This whole side of town is just a problem, isn't it? It's a distraction for the emergency services. They're not taking care of the good people. And for that reason, we can't win in our sports. There's only one solution. A calling. A calling. That's what we need. And leave the strong intact. On Campus Island. <laughs> this is what I call Emergency Bridge. <laughs> Which is kind of ironic because if there is an emergency, you 
can't really get off the thing. Okay, there we go. A lot of the weak are gone now. Still need to get rid of a few more, though. Perfect. <laughs> to think this was my prized area a while ago. <laughs> now I'm just calling them all because they're uneducated and they're not worth my time. They're not putting in the effort that Campus Island is putting in. However, I am remembering that all of my emergency services are on these other islands. Ah, well, there's smart people on Campus Island. They'll figure it out. <laughs> I won't have to. <laughs> oh, there's an emergency on emergency bridge. By the way, <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> okay, now that they're dealt with, we just need to cut them off from us and then annex ourselves <laughs> from the area. <laughs> Can you annex your own land? I don't know. The point is, I'm de-annexing them. <laughs> they can have their independence. It's fine. <laughs> Honestly, guys, I'm totally cool with it. I'm just that kind of a mayor. I'm totally chilled with whatever. We'll just stay over here with all the good stuff and uh, start again. And you guys can... Um, <clears throat> good... Good luck. Look, the cemeteries live. That's a plus. And we'll learn to rebuild over here, and we'll learn to be better at sports. Kevin's Korea will prevail. But I think I'll leave it at that. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to pick up the game, link will be in the description. It does add a lot to the game. As you can see, there is a ton of new buildings. I didn't even get to add them all in this one. And there's a lot more gameplay mechanics going on as well, which is really cool, because this game is so vast as it is, and it's just adding more into the toolbox. There's a tsunami hitting. Is that God? <laughs> like I thought, I I was god of this world, but I think I just got instant karma. <laughs> How did this happen? Oh, I think it was maybe it was from the impact when I was destroying the bridges. The water came up. I'm not sure, <laughs> but um, yeah, I've I've got instant karma, I'm afraid. Well, look, there's smart people, as I said. We're learning all about various different things on that island. We'll figure it out. In fact, I think I may have an idea already. There's still people complaining that they don't have water. <laughs> it's pretty much the only thing you have right now. Okay, there we go. Okay, I caused a sinkhole, so now all the water will just drain out of there, and we'll be okay. Let's just focus on our sports teams. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I appreciate you watching, as always. Hopefully, you'll pick up this game and have a higher IQ than I do, and you can make these people smarter. Because right now, it's like the blind leading the blind, pretty much. <laughs> Other than that, I'll just say I hope to see you next time, and bye for now.